you see this vent hood right here I've got two of these and um, I kind of like got like a small junkyard that I've collected stuff over the years and I dig out of here because I like to do projects and all this stuff here to me is like free because it's my junkyard and like I said I've got two of these I've had for God they've probably been out here for 30 years just sitting just sitting out here and uh, here's the front it's a 30 inch wide and uh, one of them I've already started redoing I'm gonna keep it well I'm gonna keep this one too but I'm just saying that uh, I want to show you what it looked like before I got started because it doesn't got started I didn't think it's gonna turn out that easy or that good and I didn't video it so I'm, that's why I'm showing you what it looked like the main things I had to change was under here was under here the way this thing is designed if the heat when the heat rises it could get caught in here there's no way for the heat can make it to the fan so I drilled a hole here and the one I'm fixing to show you so the heat when it rises it'll get sucked through this hole right here which is on the other one and then I put a hole over here too same thing heat gets caught in there the heat gets caught in there and there's no way for it to get over here so I drilled a hole right here and the other one and then this area here there's no way for it to catch any heat here because of the way they got this panel here so I redesigned that panel I redesigned this panel here it holds the motor I've redesigned this panel here that hides some wires and I'm fixing to show you in a minute and then I cut a hole here because there's no hole in this this is what they call a recycle heat uh, vent hood it just recycles the air it's got a filter here it's gone the filters not here but it's got a special filter here that it catch all the grease and the oils and some of the fumes and stuff but then it sends the air back out in the room well I don't want that I want one that's got a hole here which I've already cut a hole I'm gonna show it to you and then it vents it outside the house so I'm fixing to show you the one that I've I've already redone and we're gonna look at it okay here's the one I'm working on it's a different color these are old antique colors if you notice I don't know if they call this the other one I think they called Adakata I think they call this one a gold or something I'm not sure I can look it up and tell you these are like out of the 60s or 70s but see I've already cut a hole here for a vent hood for the vent to vent it out and I've changed up everything I just got through well anyhow I changed up everything down here as you can tell I've re-slanted this one here to where it can catch some air and pull it over here to the fan I didn't cut a hole down here for that way when the air is it, 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 the hot air lifts up it'll get caught right here and draft into the other side and I did the same thing over here I cut a hole down here and uh, that way all the air drafts over here and I lowered this I took this part here loose here and just lowered it uh, that way I can still put a filter over here and put like a bowl type filter with mesh screen I'm gonna have to make it and uh, the light up here is still gonna work here's the lens for it and but uh, all the air should be pulled right into here now and uh, and then it'll go out the top and I just checked the fan I can plug it in well I just got through water sand and about a weight I've already ran the fan I've already checked the light the switches I had to do a little lubricating on because they were sticking but they're working now both of them's working and uh, like I said it's been sitting out there for 30 years this is a GE brand I know I'm just jumping around I get excited I start my uh, the conversation jumps around but I use a lot of these little self-tapper screws here that helped out 
and I had to redesign this here to where this hole here would line up. And uh, there's going to be a few places like right in here. I'm going to put some duct tape, not duct tape, but that silver, that silver aluminum tape right in here, or maybe a little bit of metal. I got a little bit of metal right here I could put up in there and bend it and fit it in. But uh, that way to get a good draw. But yeah, I just got through water sanding it inside and out, and I'm letting it, I'm letting it dry. Um, I'm thinking about painting the inside here a silver, like kind of a metal color, silver. I don't want to go black. I want to be able to see if it needs to be clean sometimes. So maybe a silver. And then the outside here, I'm thinking about painting it kind of a copper or a gold color. And I don't know if I'm going to streak it or do some kind of special effect thing to it where it kind of looks real old. Maybe antique it a little bit. But, uh... Yeah, this has come a long ways for just this morning. Yeah, it says a, a quality product from General Electric Company. They don't even, they don't even word things like that. Deluxe, how often have you ever seen the word deluxe anymore? The, the deluxe model. And it says it's got a, it's got a light and then a night light. I tried an LED bulb in there and all I got was just blue light. But yeah, it's all been sanded. I'm letting it dry. And uh, then we'll start working on a color. Okay, I started off with a base coat, which is going to be white. Kind of start covering up some of that yellowish gold color. And I'm going to do the same thing on the outside. But under here, I'm planning on painting it a silver or a gray metallic. And this is my, uh, I always wear something over my face to uh, keep from breathing the paint. But yeah, this is the first coat. I may put, I'm going to put two coats of white. And uh, I don't know how much silver I got. I may be low on silver. That would be another good reason for using the white. Uh, that way, whatever color I do come up with, it won't take as much uh, to paint it, to finish it up. But yeah, I'm fixing to lay it down and uh, probably go ahead and paint the outside also. And I'm not going to be able to do that on the camera because I need three hands to do this. Okay, as you can see, I did paint underneath silver. I had just a little bit left in each can, not very much. And it's just a thin coat on top of that white. But it may give me the uh, appearance that I want kind of a metal, metal color. And uh, now I'm starting to work on the outside, which is about the time I discovered if I'm gonna film this, I need to go ahead and flip it over and uh, start filming. Okay, this is kind of a bronze color. I'm going to put some copper with it. And uh, it's loaded with metallic. And this is just the first coat. So I've got to turn the camera off and come back and show you how it's going to look. Okay, this is the second coat. It's getting late in the evening. The sun's dropping down. And I just cross cut it is what I've done. My first coat, I went this away, long ways. And let that set for like a minute or two, maybe even three, four, I don't know, five minutes. And then I cross cut it this way, all the way down. Now I'm not going to spray the top because you can't even see the top when it's up there. This stuff is getting all over my hands. I should have had gloves on, I guess. Okay, I had to move it. The sun's really dropping down. These are the three colors I've used. I use white for the base, and then I use this bronze, painted the whole thing with bronze, good coat. And then I took this copper color here and kind of put it in the middle, streaked it in the middle, left this alone, and kind of went along the top, along the bottom, 
along all the edges there to kind of give it that copper look. Yeah, I think I'm going to be happy with that. If I did anything else, I'd add some clear to it. But uh, I don't think I am, being no more than what it is. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it like that. It'd be nice if I can get this tape off of here. It always looks good to see what the rest of it looks like. And the tape is still damp with paint. But uh, yeah, there's a little piece of tape there I have to pull off. I have to get a pocket knife and pull it off. But yeah, I think it looks real good. Yeah, it turned out just like I wanted it. Now, the next thing to do is install it and then plug it in. Yeah, my shadow's starting to show up on it. That's how low the sun's getting. I got this done just in time. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna take it and put it in the cup in the carport in the garage and uh, let it sit overnight. Okay, I finally got it installed. The paint turned out beautiful. And uh, actually the fan's on low right now. And you can tell the light's on. But what I ended up having to do, let me see if I can get up there. Where I cut the hole, I cut it the size of the pipe where the pipe would fit in the hole. And then the L sits on top of the metal. So I put a short piece inside here where it would get secure inside and stay in place. Then, as you can tell, I drilled a hole through the wall to the outside. I'm going to put one of these flappers, I'll show you a picture of it, because i got to order it on there. That way it will keep air from blowing back up in here, but when the fan's on, it will open up the little doors and uh, push it out. This is a small kitchen area, kitchenette section. here this isn't this is not the main kitchen this is just a little kitchenette away from the kitchen a small kitchen toaster oven hot plate toaster and a microwave and then here's all the fixings and stuff and a place to put it together just a small refined area but the problem I had was not the microwave it doesn't put out any, really any heat or any fumes or anything. But I just started using this again. I had to clean it up good because it started smoking. And um, I cleaned it up. It quit smoking, but it kept putting out just a little fumes in the, in the room. And then with the hot plate, it puts out some heat. So I wanted something that would draw my heat up. And that's what this is all about. I am real happy with it. As you can see underneath here, the fan's on low. Okay, another set of dead batteries. But anyhow, I turned the fan off here. This is high. It, it really gets, it vibrates just a little bit. later yeah this is the fan motor it just went out it was working doing fine it and the switches and everything was doing fine and it went out and uh, I had to replace it I ordered another one and then I had to do some modifying because of the way the bracket was and I had to bend it and cut it and drill it and then make it work and then there was a little vibration 
in the fan. So I added, see where it went around? This is where I, I tried put a little weight here, a little bit of weight there. I went all the way around it, put just a little piece of wire. Here's a little piece of wire, it's for my weight. The wire is for the weight. And I, I discovered this one was the best one to put the wire on. Now I'll do something better, but now I know it's this one. It's the one that needs the weight on it. And I'll turn it on just a minute. But then I also had to order two new switches. I didn't know if it was the switches went out or the motor, but when I went to try to get the switches out of there, I had to take a uh, Dremel tool with a little grinder blade, the little round blade, this blade broke. It was a little round blade with a hole in the middle. It's cutting blade. And I had to cut the nut right here that holds the uh, switch on. I end up cutting both of them. So I've, I've got both of those ordered. I've got a light switch ordered and a two-speed fan switch ordered. Should be here in a day or two. But meanwhile, I've got it kind of just wired up. And I have to plug it in for it to work. So that's what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to plug it in. It's much quieter now with the little weight on there. Then I like two switches. And uh, I've already gone outside and checked the, uh, the airflow. The airflow out the pipe, it, it really does some blowing. And that's low. That's on low right there. The other wire, which is this wire right here, that's for the high frequency for the motor, high speed. But I'll need the switch to be able to switch it between the low and the high and the off. But see where I scratched it up? Trying to get those nuts out of there. Nuts off of the... Uh... As you see, this one's stuck in. This is the light switch. I know it's the fan switch. No, that's the light switch. I get confused. But at least it'll be, it'll reju be rejuvenized, redone, you know? New motor, new switches, new paint job, redesigned. Sounds good. I'm happy with it. But I'll show you a picture of the switches. Uh, I don't know if I'm on video any more of this, but uh, pretty much this is it. All I got to do is just uh, put the switches in there. But it is working. Brand new motor. I had to, like I said, I had to alter the bracket. I'll show you a picture of it too, where you see where I, the bracket is, how much I had to change. See how flat that bracket is? That's because I had to take it off of the motor and flatten it to make it work. Then I had to cut off the ends to make it fit in there. Then I had to drill a new hole and line it up. But anyhow, that's just, that's just part of the deal. That's the way it is sometimes when you're uh, fabricating trying to make something work. Yep, that's gonna be it. I'll show you the uh, the switches and the motor right now. Okay, I had to do one last thing. I noticed when I put my finger up here, the air was blowing in this hole, back. It was blowing back this way, and I checked the other one, it was blowing the wrong way. And I could put my hand up here and I could feel a lot of air. And uh, there's air blowing up, but not like it was. So I made this little cardboard piece here. I'll make another one out of metal. This is a template. And it's made a big draft difference. The air, you can feel it pulling in now through these spots. You don't feel all that air out here, all the air. It's doing even better. Uh, so I'll make one out of metal and then uh, I'll install it. This is the fan I've ordered. See the shelf, see the bracket, hat loops up.
See that loops up right here? I had to flatten that and then cut it and drill a hole. Like you know, like you just seen. Uh, for it to fit in there. Then I had to flip it over because this, this, the way this fan is set up is to push down instead of pull up. So I had to flip the motor here, all of this, over and cut the bracket and reassemble it up into the up in there. <laughs> Sometimes you're not sure if you're gonna get it figured out, but you gotta keep working with it. Feels good when you do get it figured out. And uh, this is the switch, this is the three uh, two two speed switch for the fan. And there's the nut right there. At least it won't be froze. This is new. It ought to go on there. And I give you a little instructions here how to put it on there. And this is going to be the light switch. Just the on and off push button. Both of them are push buttons. And then outside, this is the vent cover, like I was showing you earlier. But this is a six inch. As you can see up there, six inch louver vent cover. For external wall. Huh, that's good. So it'll go for outside. And it's got a little, like you see, a little uh, piece of uh, screen or something in there. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for this to get here. Waiting for that to get here. And I'm waiting for that to get here. That got here today is when I started working on it. And it's up there. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Get out there and work on something. I mean, it, it feels good after you complete an, a project. And sometimes when you got a little bit of trouble with it, you work it out, it does. It feels good afterwards. I feel pretty good about that, especially after I done balance the blades and everything. It's a lot quieter, and it's, it's, it's going to work. It's going to work. I'm looking forward to start using it. Viewing the video or giving us a like or subscribing makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment. Don't you agree?